Hello and welcome to this instructional video for the Future Grower Technologies Greenhouse. This is a virtual reality greenhouse in 2D and 3D that people can use to enjoy um, learning about environmentally controlled agriculture. You should have received a textbook that will help walk you through and learn different aspects of the greenhouse. All right, uh, we'll go through those in just a moment, but I want to point out to you at the very, very end of this textbook, there is a set of worksheets starting on page 32. And we'll have you work through those worksheets. We'll have you do some simulation, grow some crops. There are three crops. And we'll have you record the results. We'll have you grow each crop, lettuce, spinach, and tomato, three times. We'll have you grow at low, medium, and high temperatures. And then attempt to find the best producing uh, value. In this case, the value of the biomass in the lettuce grown at moderate optimal temperatures produce the highest crop value. So we'll have you do that for lettuce, spinach, and tomato. But the rest of this book really just walks you through how to use different aspects of the future grower technology. How to log in, how to train. There's four training modules before you go to free mode. Let's see, free mode. And then finally, how to move forward. We'll use in the 2D version, the 2D, the desktop version, the WASD keys. W, S, A, D forward, backwards, left, and right. And we'll use our mouse to help us move around the greenhouse. If you do the 3D version, you'll have an aid to help you uh, with hand controllers. But most of you will be doing the 2D desktop version. All right? So it's very simple. All we'll ask you to do is have your textbook handy and use the desktop shortcut to begin and launch the greenhouse. I'm going to make some changes here on my desktop. Uh, you can sign in using your student ID number, please, your, your nine or however many number digit. Uh, so I'm just going to use one. And my password will be I'm going to just use password and I'm going to create my user. So I'm user one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you'll see inside of here are four different training modules, environmental controls, crop settings, feedings, and infections. Each one of these training modules is listed in detail per chapter in your book. So I'm not going to go through each one of those. I'm not going to go through each one of the training modules. I'm going to go right into free mode. And this is what you do when you've learned to um, use the four different types of settings inside of the greenhouse. And I'm going to enter the greenhouse. And for this example, it'll take just a moment. It's going to load the greenhouse for me. And you're going to see this load page. Just let it go, let it go, let it go. Takes a moment to load. And I'm in free mode, and it shows you right here WSAD keys or WASD keys. And my mouse, you can see my mouse. You can see this beautiful greenhouse. And I am just going to use my W key to move forward to this door. And as soon as the door lights up, I can walk out it. Now I should shut my door, shouldn't I? Just click it. Close. Oh, look. I can go out and stand in the beautiful water. This is a nice treat. If you need a break from the greenhouse, come on out. Come on out. Look around. There's a, a lot of accommodations inside of this uh, software for future uh, plans. 
or things that can be added to the greenhouse, like a staging platform here. They could do all their outdoor work here. Got their dumpsters. Yep, they have their dumpsters already. Let's go back in the greenhouse. I'm still using the W key. So far, the only thing I've touched is the W key. And you'll notice as soon as I see the green highlighted areas, I'll have an action just by a simple left click of the mouse. And I'm just going to shut my doors because we don't want the... You'll notice I can't shut them until I get get to the point where it's safe. You can see the swamp coolers here on one side of the greenhouse. An empty table. But most importantly, we have our, our work board here. Uh, down in this area, we have our fogger. And we'll come back to that. We have our environmental control panel. And we're going to set up the crop using this environmental control panel. We're going to use the calendar to help us schedule the crop. And in the very end, we'll have a report. And these reports are very important. You'll save these reports, but you'll also note these reports in your textbook when you do your exercises. So I am going to just click on the environmental control panel. There is only one zone in this greenhouse, but in the future, it could have as many as three. And I'm just gonna, going to move closer. When I see a blue mark, a blue mouse, I'm able to uh, launch. I'm going to go ahead and choose a crop. My crop is, I want 20 tables. You can go backwards and forwards with these numbers. Most, most of these numbers will move backward and forward. I'm going to choose lettuce and I'm going to choose sunshine mix. And I will confirm. I need to move forward a little bit. set. All right. There's my tables. Now, in, I need to set my environment. So I'm just going to, you can follow your book and you can find your low, medium, and high temperatures. I can choose just uh, any number of settings. And I have to schedule my watering, my feeding. Now this is interesting, it's counterintuitive. I'm going to start feeding on this day. And for the for planting day, I definitely want to plant for only one day. And say, okay, I want one unit of food for the first day. I come over to the first day and I simulate. And you can see my crop has been planted. Now I'm going to begin simulating two weeks at a time. All right, two weeks out at a time. The temperatures will reset themselves every two weeks. So again, we know the crop is lettuce. Don't change that. It warns you, don't change it. Now, we haven't been two weeks out since our last setting, so the temperature has not reset itself. So we can go ahead and apply and stick with this temperature. In this case, we're going to give it 14 days food and the date to dispense out to, we're gonna start feeding on this day. We're going to start feeding on this day. 14 days will take us to the 15th. We say, okay, we apply and then we go out to our simulation date. So we don't say the second, we say the last date, the two week date. And we simulate. And again, we wait for the software to load and we look and sure enough, we have little tiny lettuce starts. Now these are growing on a temperature growth curve. They are. And it's up to us to inspect and watch for behaviors inside this greenhouse. So it behooves us to every now and again, go down the greenhouse. I'm just using the W, but I could use the A. A would move me to the side and D would, uh, D would move me to the side and S would move me backwards. But I am just going down and checking things out. I want to make sure that everything is a-okay. 
All right, we'll just walk the greenhouse. All right. Let's do another two week simulation. It's gonna move forward. Again, we're not gonna change the crop, right? So you'll notice that the temperature has slow, uh, reverted to default. Remember what my temperature was for before? My regime I was using, that's why we write it down so we remember. Apply our temperature. I'm going to feed out two weeks. So I choose the day to start, which is this Sunday. Oops, I can't see it well enough, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna choose this, this Sunday. I'm gonna say, okay. And I'm gonna choose 14 units of food and water. That means everything gets watered and fed. And then I'm gonna come out and simulate out. So this simulates us to four weeks. This is a 60 day crop that we're growing. So we're out four weeks. And again, you need to walk the greenhouse. Walk the greenhouse. I'm not gonna do that. That's up to you to do. But I certainly am looking for suspicious behaviors in the greenhouse, because soon we will see suspicious. Let's do another two weeks. Again, we're not gonna change the crop, so let's just go right into the environment. We've had a reset here. To save money, we of course will always lower the temperature, but if we lower it too much, we're gonna slow the crop down. We can also uh, have it too low, we can kill the crop. We can have the temperature too high, we will kill the crop. I'm going to start the feeding day here. Okay. And I'm going to use 14 units, which is two weeks forward. And then I'm going to move my calendar forward into January. And that's my point of simulation. Give the software a chance to look at the temperatures you chose, grow the crop, and let's look around. Oh, I see something very suspicious. White fly. Hmm, let's look and make sure it's not anywhere else in the building. Mm. The lettuce is looking good. The lettuce is looking beautiful. But we have white fly at this table. We need to treat that before we go forward. So I'm just going to walk over here. And there is a lesson for you to learn to use the fogger. It's tricky. So just be prepared. I am going to load a pesticide. I'm going to click and pick up my fogger. And I'm going to go down to this table. I'm going to get in the center of the table so I can move from side to side. I can use my S and A and D keys to move from side to side. All right, so by pulling the trigger, which is my left mouse click, the blue bars tell me I'm doing all right. Blue bars tell me I'm, that red is plenty. Red is full, and you, that's, that's maximum. If I don't do a complete treatment, if I miss, using the right dose, there's a very good chance I won't kill all the white fly. If I overspray, I'm going to cost, add cost. So I can just look one more time. I have red bars, we're good, we're all good. And if I simulate forward one day, only one day, I'm gonna return my fogger, but if I simulate forward one day, the white fly won't be dead for about five days. Reach down and click, click. With my right, with my right click, I return the fogger. So I right click and then return the fogger. All right, now the white flies are still alive, but if I simulate out in two weeks, they should be dead. And we need to check to be sure they're dead. Again, we're not gonna change the crop. We are gonna change the temperature. Oops. 
Again, I'm trying to optimize my temperature to save money. We optimize our inputs. We choose that Sunday. Oops. That Sunday. Say okay. We're going to use 14 units of food. Apply. And I'm going to go over here. I'm almost finished with my entire simulation cycle. Now, there should be little or no white fly present. And the crop should be nearing completion. But with, ooh, there's a whole brand new table full of white fly. Imagine that. Imagine that. The disease spread. So it's necessary. It doesn't happen all the time. That is a random event. I don't see white fly anywhere else. So I need to come back, get my fogger, set my pesticide, pick it up. Click and, click and hold, click and hold. Let's do it. Let's go down and take care of that table. Woo -wee. Expect that in every simulation you're going to have at least two tables to deal with. I'm standing in the middle of the table and now I can use my A and my D key. A to the left, D to the right. And I'm going to start fogging. Now, a person could get really ambitious and fog everything, right? But that is going to cost inputs. And of course, we don't want to over-treat anything at any time. That's never a goal of ours. So we just want to have a complete treatment for the places that are needed most. And remember, because it takes two, uh, five days for the white fly to resolve, we only have three days left in this growing cycle. Um, we're not going to see the white fly go away. We're going to see them drastically reduced after the three days, but they won't be gone. Because somehow we missed that. I'm going to move up to my bogger. I'm going to push my, my mouse over so I, I right click and then I left click. All right, let's finish the let's finish the growing cycle here. Open our environmental controller again. Again, we don't change the crop. Let's change the let's change the uh, temperature. Now, well, there's all kinds of scenarios we could ask you to change the temperature. Say we wanted to slow the crop down because the uh, recipient didn't. Excuse me. Start there. We're going to have three days. The recipient didn't want it. To, to arrive fast, that's an option too. We can slow down or speed up the crop based on temperature. And we've got our date set. Let's go to the end. Let's simulate. And this is our final simulation. And it looks like the white fly is resolved. Don't see any white fly left out there. But let's look at our report. Our report here tells us how we did. And we can export that report. We can, we can review that report. We can do all kinds of things. But these are the data points that you want to um, record in your book. All right. Don't worry about the numbers and the values. We don't have that issue straightened out here yet. But we do know that my temperature here was at 100%. I was in the correct temperature range, and your book will talk about correct temperatures and incorrect temperatures. I watered correctly, uh, the feed was correct, and the treatment was fairly efficient. You can export this report, and um, we can help you get that data. Uh, I'm having a little trouble on this screen looking at the um, pesticides, but it's $9.01 in pesticide. But you want to record all this data. You can export the data. It'll stay in a folder with your name. We'll tell you how to get to that. Fill out your data in your book when you complete each, um, each iteration. So you're going to do three iterations, low, medium, high lettuce, low, medium, high tomato, low, medium, high temperature regime for um, spinach. 
Don't be afraid if you kill a crop. Just quit. If you kill a crop, your, your temperatures were incorrect or you forgot to feed, um, just quit and start over. Don't save a report that killed a crop. You'll see a dead crop. If you, if you try hard enough, you can kill crops. If you want to leave the greenhouse and start a new uh, iteration, you can just leave the greenhouse. But when you're all done at the end of the day, just quit and confirm. All right, that's the FGT greenhouse. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll move you forward to your textbook. You can contact me in the textbook. This is Amelia Fox. I'm here to help you. Um, for some, there will be a lab manager available to help as well. Thank you for your time.